Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and in this video I'm gonna show you step by step how you can easily use ManyChat to program your chat box for your business on many platforms like Facebook. If you are interested in finding out how to do so, then watch this tutorial to the end and now let's get started. First you need to create your account from here and now it will ask you about the type of your company. I will just select the first choice first choice of every question and now let's go next i have connected my own facebook so now it uh, it has read two uh, facebook pages which are these two so i will just go and connect with the first one here so if you have more pages on your facebook you will find them all in here and once I have set my um, page and connected it to mini chat. I can I can go next. So basically, before this step, it will ask you to verify your Facebook so that it can connect to these pages. And once you are here, you can go and verify your email, which I will do in few seconds. I'll come back to you. And now, after activating my email, it will ask you whether you want to proceed with the free plan or activate the pro trial. However, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go with the free plan. Now, uh, the primary purpose, I will just use personal use here and press on next. And here I will use um, maybe pod. Now let's press next. Now let's choose personal project for example and I will choose creator now and press next. Okay I will use promoting my own services, press next and I can select none of them although I prefer Canva but I will just go with none for now. And here is how your mini chat will look like. So basically in this tutorial, we are gonna uh, talk in some details about automation and we will just mention a brief note on live chats. So if you wanna create your own chat box or create your own automation, so you can go here in automation and you will find three choices, which are my automation or basic or sequences. So starting with automations let's navigate here to automation and for those who don't know what automation is it's basically a sequence of steps which are activated once a specific trigger happens so let's see an example let's press on new automation here and now you will find many templates to use from you can also search a specific template from here and if you want to start your own template from scratch, you can click on start from scratch here. Now let's pick one of these templates and explore how it looks like from the inside. So let's see, for example, capture customer data with lead magnets. Click on it. On the right, you will find a preview. You can use it to interact, for example. So you can just use it as if you are a user. And here you will find it keeps asking you questions and you can interact with it. So let's see the, the, the internal structure of this chat box and how it was created. So let's press on setup template and explore how it looks like from the inside and here how it looks like. So basically it's a set of steps which uh, are followed one by one. In order to see them clearly, you can zoom in from here so basically here in your first step, there is an action or there is a trigger, which once happens, it will activate the following steps. This trigger is when a user sends a direct message with a keyword. If you want to know what this keyword is, you can read this text below and it will say that the keyword is leads. So once the user insert the word leads, it will transmit him to the next step, which is the greeting message here. Then after three seconds waiting, it will show the user this button. 
that if it's clicked, it will move me to the next step, which is email, email collection message. It will ask me for an email and it will wait for a reply from contact. And now an action on reply. If there is no reply, it will move me to this stage, which is follow up message asking me uh, if I am still interested in the ebook. If I inserted my email or the user insert his email, it will move him to the next step, which is the email confirmation and no other steps after this. However, if he did not respond, it will move him to this step, which is the follow up message. And if he responded, he will be moved to this message, then waiting for a reply. If he respond, if he did not respond, there is no following step. If he responded, he will move to this stage. If he said not now, he will move here, got it and wait for two seconds, then send him a message. So this is basically how your template looks like. Now let's see how we can edit on it. So now, now let's just zoom in and go to the first step. So I will see, I will show you how you can um, edit on the following two boxes and the rest of the other boxes will follow the same procedure. So by clicking on this box, you access its content from the left. You can also add from the right a trigger or a content or logic. So if you want to just edit on this element, you can just press on the element you want and it will pop up a new um, details of all the features of this element. So basically this is our trigger. So if you want to change it, you can, for example, change the keyword itself. You can remove it from here or you can add a keyword from here. You can also add um, another message condition from here, which is another if statement. So if, for example, if message contains something or you can just press on message or on here to make the message contains whole word or begins with or doesn't contain something. So basically here it will ap apply to all the choices unless there is a keyword that deactivate my trigger. So this is basically how you can change your trigger. Once you are done, you can press on save here. If, you, if we change it, for example, like if we placed some um, here, if we pressed on doesn't contain and we uh, just inserted some plug, uh, plugged uh, uh, vocab or some uh, con content or text that deactivate my trigger, I can just save from here and it's all set. Now, if I want to um, edit on this button, I can, uh, sorry, this is a new trigger. So if I want to add a new trigger, I can just press on it and it will add another trigger. I can also um, change this arrow to another root by clicking on here and it will change the root itself. Now the next box, this is just a comment. Now the next box, which is here, you can edit it the way the same way. So by clicking on it, you can access its content. Here there is a message that you can edit. You can also delete or you can copy. You can also change its um, its arrangement. And here you have you can add a button after the message. For example, now let's go down and see the next. Here you can change the waiting time. You can also change this button name or you can add another button or add a quick reply. You can also add a bunch of elements like text, like image, like chords and more. So once you are done, you can preview your chat box from here and you can use it as if you are a user. So let's rock. Here, I will just insert my email. If I did not respond, it will move me to the next step. And if I responded, for example, like if I wrote my email, here it sent me the end message of this sequence. So once you are done, you can press on set live. However, this is only available for the pro try for the pro versions and not for the free plans. Now moving on to live chat here. The, in this section, you can access on 
conversations uh, to people for your chat box. This is because Boot does not always is not always able to respond to all the questions of users. So this is made exactly for these type of questions, so so that you can answer what Boot cannot answer. So this is basically it. This is how easy you can use range. You can use. Uh, your website which is mini chat so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial if you like this video press on like then subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos until then take care and goodbye